The purpose of sex, from the progressive point of view, is simply pleasure. So, have you ever considered the fact that humans are the only beings in existence, in the universe, that separate purpose from pleasure? You see the sex for pleasure presupposition? It's wrong. (laughs) There's many things our bodies find pleasurable, but the pleasure is a wonderful byproduct to the actual purpose of the act itself. For example, humans find pleasure in eating. Yet we never consider the purpose of eating to keep Krispy Kreme in business. No, the purpose of eating is so you don't eventually die. Now, some people find pleasure in running, which is sick and twisted and pathetic. But who am I to judge? But the purpose of running is apparently either for exercise, to catch a train, or to flee from someone chasing you with a ball-peen hammer. Parents find pleasure in watching our kids in a preschool play, even though the purpose of attending the play is to avoid being the target of their therapy sessions when they reach adulthood and are lamenting that their parents never showed up to watch their interpretation of a rutabaga in their tribute to funny-sounding vegetables school play extravaganza. But conservatives and progressives also see humans differently as well. See, the progressive sees humans as glorified animals that got too big for their britches and became self-aware. You see, animals have sex, but they do it by instinct for one reason only, to make more animals. We've never observed wild rhinos strapping on rubbers. This is a problem for the neo-Darwins, by the way, though they usually have a hard time grasping that if evolution was about survival of the species, then why are humans constantly trying to have sex without having children? Hey, we want our cake without the calories. Animals' instinct is to procreate, whereas humans have a similar desire, but we can choose to indulge in the act without the ramification. Interestingly, even progressive call this birth control or reproductive rights. So they're admitting that sex makes babies, which kind of throws a monkey wrench in the abortion isn't killing a human debate because even though it's pleasurable, even if it hurt, we'd still do it because it's the only way we can make babies.